Today I've got my hands on the latest H96 Max plus Android 8.1 TV box. So this TV box is available to buy in two different sizes, 32 gigs for 49 US dollars or 64 GB, which is 59 US dollars. So as usual, we'll begin with a quick unboxing followed by our full performance tests, including a comparison at the end with the other top Android TV boxes. So I'll put the specs on the screen so you guys can have a quick read. So both of these boxes have exactly the same specs apart from the storage size options. Now you have the Rockchip 3328 quad core running at 1.5 gigahertz. The GPU is the Mali 450 with four gigs of DDR3 RAM, an option between 32 or 64 gigs of internal storage, dual band Wi-Fi ABGN. You've got a 100 megabyte LAN. There is no Bluetooth in either models. Now, both of these are running Android 8.1 Oreo, support 4K at 60 frames per second with HLG and HDR10. And they both also support HDMI version 2.0A. So this is everything you get in the box. Both contents are exactly the same. Now we have a user manual, HDMI cable, a DC 5 volt UK power socket, and last but not least, the TV boxes themselves. So here they are side by side, identical, 32 gigs, and 64 gigs, but they are exactly the same TV box apart from the system storage. So let's do all the ports together. On the front of the box, we have an LED display. If we keep going, we've got micro SD card slot, standard USB port and a USB 3 port. And on the other side, we have an AV port, HDMI out, Ethernet port, and this is a 100 megabyte Ethernet port and a power socket. Nothing on this side. And that brings us back to the front. And this is what the bottom of the boxes look like. And to give you an idea of the size, I will bring in the Xiaomi box. So side by side, and if we put the Xiaomi on top, you can see the Xiaomi is slightly smaller going all the way around. And in thickness, the H96 is slightly thicker. So now we're gonna get these hooked up to my TV and capture card, but as they are exactly the same spec, I'm just gonna be doing a full capture with the 64 GB version, but I will do a benchmark on both of them at the end. So we will see exactly how well both of these perform. Now I'll be right back. So first of all, I ran a boot up speed test on the 64 GB version, and it took 39 seconds to fully load the home screen from a cold start. Then I ran a boot up speed test on the 32 GB version and this TV box took 36 seconds to fully load the home screen from a cold start. So here is the home screen for this TV box. This is the default H96 home screen which is the same you will find in all H96 TV boxes. So we have fixed large icons that cannot be edited or changed. Meanwhile there is a row of small icons at the bottom which can be customized by hitting the plus sign and selecting your favorite apps. Now let's check out the system storage information. This TV box has 64 gigs of internal storage from which there are 57 gigs free to use. And if we have a quick look in about, you will see that this is running Android version 8.1 Oreo. Now, if we look at the system storage info for the 32 GB version, you will see that you have 27 gigs of free space. And this is also running Android version 8.1 Oreo. Now let's have a look at the system apps. Both boxes will give you the same default apps and you have plenty of useful apps to get you started including Airpin Pro, Netflix, YouTube, the full version of the Play Store giving you access to thousands of free games and apps, but you also get Amazon Prime Video pre-installed on this box. So I tested out Miracast with my Samsung Galaxy S8 and it was very quick and easy to connect and it immediately mirrored my screen. There was no lag whatsoever. It was a very smooth experience. So now I can do anything on my smartphone such as watch movies, play games, and it will be wirelessly mirrored on the big screen. Now this TV box also comes pre-installed with AirPin Pro, which means this box should support iOS AirPlay. So I tested out AirPlay with my iPhone 7 and as you can see, it works great. My iPhone has been mirrored to the big screen and the experience is nice and smooth with no lag whatsoever. So I'm pleased to say that this box supports both iOS and Android screen mirroring. So now I'm going to play some 4K video samples from a USB drive and we are going to be doing this from the latest version of Kodi Media Player. So 
So next up I tested the Amazon Prime app and I was pleased to see that it actually works fine. I was able to sign in and watch any content very nicely. I'm guessing by how it looks the resolution was 480p SD quality and there is no option for 1080p on Prime with this TV box but nevertheless streaming was smooth and clear with no issues or errors at all. I then tested Netflix and again it worked fine. Resolution actually looked better than 480p SD. It actually looked more like HD quality but again could not verify this but I'm happy to say that it worked absolutely fine. Moving on now to the YouTube test. Now both boxes can stream a maximum of 4K on YouTube. I'm a renegade soldier when I see one. Never occurred to me that one might come from above. 2742 requesting release. Go to your thing, sis. Always. I'll see you tonight. People are now calling this controversial experiment of legal. Your order were to get in and deliver the package like we were never there. So both boxes come with Google Widevine level 3 and come rooted as standard. In the Wi-Fi speed test, both boxes scored quite similar results. We had around 12 megabits per second download and around 9 and 6 megabits per second upload. So here are the surprising results for the Antutu test. The 32 GB model actually got a slightly higher performance score than the 64 GB version. So let's see how that compares on the performance chart. So here is my top performing Android TV box chart for 2018 showing you all the latest TV boxes and seeing how they compare with each other. So the H96 Max Plus 64 GB model has taken position 39 on this chart and the 32 GB model has in fact achieved a slightly higher position of 31. You can view the full versions of all my charts online at chickstech.com and read them at your leisure. So there you have it guys, that was the H96 Max Plus Android 8.1 TV box. So here are my thoughts on this TV box. This has to be one of the best budget TV boxes we have seen lately. Android 8.1 with the H96 home screen runs fast and smooth with no issues at all. YouTube, Netflix, Amazon Prime all work great without any fault. You have Miracast and AirPlay support along with USB 3 and dual band Wi-Fi. Now the only real letdown in this box is no Bluetooth and you cannot attach a USB Bluetooth dongle either. Now let's quickly talk about the performance. Both boxes performed very well. There was a very slight noticeable difference in the 32 GB model. The storage used in the 32 GB model was slightly faster and you can see this when installing apps and transferring files. Other than that, no matter which box you pick, you will still enjoy a great performance at a budget price. So bottom line, one of the best budget boxes I've seen lately and for the price you are getting a lot of great features and the only real letdown is no Bluetooth. And with that being said, I will leave the links in the description for both of these TV boxes so you guys can check them out. And if you like one of them, you can of course go ahead and pick one up for yourself. I will also try to include a discount code so you can save a little more when purchasing this box. That's all for this video. Don't forget